It's midday, and on the other side of the zoo, keepers are preparing to introduce their male rhino, Magadi, to 18-year-old Kitani. But she's refusing to go outside and spends all day lying in the corner of the room. In January last year, Kitani gave birth to a calf, but it died six weeks later. When she lost her baby, that was bad. That was really, really bad. It was something we could never have done anything about. Unfortunately, it was a congenital heart defect. We had to go in, we had to catch the baby, and you know, it died in our arms while we had hold of her. And then to see Katani squeaking and looking for it, yeah, it's really tough um, because you can't tell them what's happened. To her, she's, she's just looking for it. It's gone missing. The loss of her baby has had a profound psychological effect on Kitani. The keepers hope that if she becomes pregnant, it will help with her recovery. She's still in a state of mourning, I think. She's depressed. She's, she's very upset. And it's important that we, we give her time to come over that and to, to get right again. At the Rhino House, the keepers are preparing the enclosure so that Kitani can meet her new mate through the safety of a barrier. Yep, that's fine. If all goes well, they will then remove it. If Katani could have another calf, I think, but it'd be really good for her. I think that will boost her confidence, be a fresh start, raise that baby, and hopefully everything will be uh, back to how it was. Keepers hope that introducing Katani to a male will lift her out of her depression. They've selected resident stud, Magadi, who's already fathered four calves at Chester. Magadi's more like a, I describe him as a wild rhino. He doesn't like the same attention that the others like. He'll huff and he'll puff a little bit at people. He's a very intelligent rhino as well. In the wild, if two rhinos came together, there's an 80% chance that they would potentially kill each other if it didn't go well. Blood will happen. What, should I go and let him across? At 9.45, Magadi is allowed inside to look for Katani. She's kept away from the door using a dividing pen so they can see each other without the risk of physical confrontation. This is a different attitude. Magadi appears frustrated that he can't get closer to her. What I don't want is her to be stressed out. But Kitani is wary and moves further away. Hey, 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 it's only us, it's only us. From being all calm and happy, she just snaps. Rhinos are really tough to breed. Just like people, they might not fancy the guy next door. After 10 minutes, the keepers decide that removing the restraining bars at this stage is too risky. They are in your care. Every day you go in and see their faces. Every day you make sure they're all right. Sometimes you have to take that little bit of risk, but it's a, it's a fine balance. She could get injured, he could get injured, and that's what we really don't want, and I don't want her confidence to be knocked any further either. Oh, my God. 